Hey everybody, video here for you today. We are gonna go check out a place in the Pacific Ocean here. We live on a very water dominated planet here. We're gonna go check out some ancient ruins and I found this place about a year ago when I did my series on South Pacific ruins. But we are gonna go down to an island today called Malden Island. Can you even see it yet? It's right down here. And this place has a little bit of a history to it. Here you see kind of a topographical view of it. I thought I would talk about this place while having some coffee this morning. After about 1,800 videos, it takes maybe less than an hour to make a video these days. But Malden Island is located 242 miles south of the equator, 1,580 nautical miles south of Honolulu, Hawaii, and more than 4,000 miles or 7,000 kilometers west of the South American coast. And about the longest line you can draw across this island is about five miles long. This is a very small place, maybe 15 square miles in total area here. And the nearest land to Malden Island is the uninhabited Starbuck Island, about 110 miles away. And ironically, there is a Starbucks on that uninhabited island. But it's set... I'm just kidding. It says the nearest airport is about 365 miles away. So this is really out in the middle of nowhere, five miles across only, but there's ruins on it. The earliest documented sighting of Malden Island was on March 25th, 1825 by Captain Samuel Bunker, who was a captain on a whaling ship. Then it was later seen by the British on a warship, the HMS Blonde. One of those gentlemen on that ship was Charles Robert Malden, who the island was named after. But the British did their first nuclear testing at this place in 1957. And I read a few articles on this and the damage done by the radioactive fallout is told in an article I will leave below. The island here has about 23 archeological sites on it. And they say it kind of has a mysterious lagoon in here. And I have read a few websites where it almost appears that this inner ring here is man-made with large stones. But that is pretty interesting. There is no fresh water on this island. And the living here, people say you just don't live here, you survive here. Now here is one of several links I will leave below. Here is a look at the island, pretty desolate, only five miles across, yet there are stone ruins here. Now this is kind of close to French Polynesia and all that, but just a desolate five mile island with ruins. These are hard to explain. Just reading here, it says Malden Island, sometimes called Independence Island in the 19th century is a low arid uninhabited atoll in the central Pacific Ocean, about 39 kilometers square in total area. It is one of the Lion Islands belonging to the Republic of Kiribati. The lagoon is entirely enclosed by land. However, it is connected to the sea by underground channels, and it is quite salty. It says the island is designated as the Malden Island Wildlife Sanctuary. In 2014, the Kiribati government established a 12 nautical mile fishing exclusion zone around each of the southern Lion Islands. And nothing like having a bird sanctuary at a place that was nuked about 60 years ago. Here's ancient origins from about a year and a half ago. The ruins of Malden Island and the mysterious roads that lead into the sea. I'll show one of those here in a second. Well, let's look at a few pics here. Here's one of the small step structures made out of stone here on the island. And of course, these aren't as impressive as ruins found in Peru or Egypt. But this is on a little tiny island in the middle of nowhere. And the heat, no water, not much to eat. Who is living here and building these archaeological sites? That is a big mystery. Here is a drawing done by somebody here a couple hundred years ago. And the island here, I guess the highest point on the island is less than 10 meters in height. So severe storms would just cover this island with water, I'd imagine, but a real tough place to live. Yet there was remnants of archaeological ruins here. Now there is a video linked on the Ancient Origin website. There are paved, almost appears paved pathways or roads on the island here. And one of them clearly shown here leads right out into the water made with large stones. That's a mystery. Other ruins on the island here, pathways, 
There's a bit of a mystery here on this small island in the middle of nowhere. A mystery on an island this small, of course, it's going to lead to claims like this. Lost Pacific continent, some claim that the roads leading from the structures of unidentified purposes may be evidence for a lost Pacific continent. The reality is no one really knows. One thing is certain, some mysterious group put a great effort into building megalithic monuments on an island that could hardly support even a small population. Megalithic ruins, well, I'm not sure if they're megalithic, but they are unexplained. They were here when people got here about 200 years ago, already in ruins. Who built these? Well, it is a mystery. Here's another look at a spot here, and there appears to be almost a pavement of large stones under some of these areas. Here are some large stones, maybe a grave site, but that'll give you an idea. Look at the island, how desolate it is. Yet there's ancient ruins. This is a little tough to figure out, but obviously people were getting around by boats a long time ago. Here is a pic from a 1924 expedition to the island. You know, see big flat stones. Some of these areas appeared paved. Then there was roads leading off them. That's a true mystery. And of course, some people, as I said, bring up Lemuria or Mu. Now here is a really small pic from 1924. And you notice these flat stones also created these these lines. And was this like a big maybe a sun calendar or did this have some other purpose but just flat stones here and then they went off in all directions i guess here's a couple more picks and in some areas there appears to be flat almost pavement stones here almost basalt colored it says malden is of considerable historical importance with 21 archaeological sites Several Mare Polynesian shrines are located on the island. Three on the northwest part of the island are larger than the others. These are the best preserved relics from the pre-European period and appear to have escaped disturbance during the guano collecting years. One of the only reasons to come to this desolate island between 1860 and 1927 is there was considerable amounts of guano on the island and that was used for fertilizer and it was pretty important to the people, important enough to come all the way to this island. Well, I've probably done about a dozen videos from the Pacific and South Pacific areas here. But I thought I would do this one today. Pretty interesting. Desolate island, some interesting ruins. Some of these probably can be explained, but some of these were clearly here before people got here about 200 years ago. Where did they come from? How did people survive on this island to make these ruins without any water? I guess there is a little bit of a underground aquifer created by rainwater. But this is a pretty interesting place in the middle of nowhere. Tiny Malden Island here. The lagoon here may have some prehistoric ruins in that. But there are certain things around the island that are clearly very ancient. Not a good answer for them out here in the middle of nowhere. There are other places out here in the Pacific that have ancient ruins on them. Of course, Easter Island, Nan Madal. Island of Palau, around the corner there that I talked about about a year ago. But this place, well, I think that's a mystery. Hope you thought that was cool, and you all have a very safe day.